Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Kara, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some things that I think are very helpful for after gastric bypass surgery or the sleeve surgery. These aren't specific to weight loss surgery, so even if you're on a different journey, I think they do play a role, but these items in particular are very helpful to have on hand for when you come home from having one of those procedures done. Before we get into it, I just kind of wanted to address the fact that I haven't posted a video in ages. October kind of came along and kicked my butt. So if you're not aware, I underwent a breast reduction and excess skin removal at the beginning of September and the recovery from that was unlike anything I've ever experienced. It was not fun, shall we say? It was very difficult. It took a lot longer to recover from it than I anticipated. And just as I was finally starting to feel physically better from that, my entire family got wiped out with RSV, which if you're not familiar is basically some sort of like viral infection of the lungs. Like it was horrible. It's basically like your common cold, but ratcheted up like 20,000% and then it just doesn't go away. So all that to say, took some time away from filming, but we're back. I'm feeling much better physically from the surgery, doing so much better. I have started training for triathlon season for 2023. I'll do a separate video about that at some point, but let's get back to the matter at hand. So I have a little bit of a smattering of things to share with you. Where I can, I will link them down below just in case you're interested in them as well. There's some that's more on the nutrition side and then some that are just functional. So I haven't included things like pillows and comfy clothes and all that kind of thing because you probably already have that. And you're probably already aware if you're going to have surgery, you're probably not going to wear and wear a ball gown afterwards or like a three-piece suit. You want to be comfy. There you have it. Everybody's pain is going to be different. It's been three years since I had my surgery, so it is a little bit of a blur to me at this point. I'm very glad that I documented my whole sort of recovery process of that. So look on my channel if you want to find other videos more specific to like one week updates, one month updates, things of that sort where I'm in the thick of it. But looking back on it now, these are the things, some of these things I've had since that time. Well, yeah, two of the things I've had since that time. But I wanna start off, this is, it's not sponsored, but the brand did send it to me. So we're gonna put it that way. The brand is called Uba. And they do plates, bowls, uh, cutlery, basically things that already have the measurements marked on them. So for example here, we've got one of their bowls here. And so as you can see on the inside, it's already pre-measured. So I really, really like that. And then I'll just flip it so you can see the brand name at the bottom there. I love that because I'm an inherently lazy person. So if I have to go and find the measuring cup and measure and then dump and do all that kind, I know it's not a lot of steps, but it's an additional step that I just don't want to deal with, especially in the morning. This is incredibly helpful. So if I want to have half a cup of cottage cheese, I can just put it straight into this bowl. I don't have to dirty a measuring cup. I don't have to worry about that. Just put it in here. It's already marked. And what's nice, it's ceramic. And it just looks nice because let me tell you, I didn't have this when I had my surgery. I used baby bowls and baby spoons for that matter. And well, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like it's embarrassing. I'm using them in my house with my family. I still felt a little weird eating out of plastic bowls for the last three years. Cause let's be honest, I still use those little bowls and I still use little plates. I don't use a full size dinner plate anymore, but this, just makes me feel like a grown-up and it's subtle enough that like if I had people over not that like my friends care but like if I was worried about that kind of thing there's nothing about this that screams I'm different if I wanted to take this to work to have in the cupboard at the office at work I could do that and I wouldn't feel conspicuous about it what's more they also have plates that are sort of divided already for portions so here we have it now it's very obvious, like there's three components. We can see that, right? What I particularly love about this brand is their actual branding. So this came with the package that they sent me. So in particular, the uh, plate here, so it says 
uh, proteins, grains, vegetables. But what's more, I'm just going to read through this because, and there's a whole point to this, but I really like this. We designed these uva plates to support well-balanced meals in the right portions across primary food groups. Here are the key features of this plate. Each food group section is calibrated in size based on tons of research. But hey, that doesn't mean you can't use them in a way that suits you. There are high divider walls between each section to keep your food separate, so no more mix-up of gravy and rice. Microwave and oven safe. I love that. Makes it easier to heat all the food together. It's dishwasher safe. I also love, which means fewer dishes for you to wash since you don't have to use multiple bowls. And it's made from high quality porcelain, which means if it, <laughs> which means it will break if you drop it. We just wouldn't want to sell something made of plastic. So there's a few things to take away from this piece of paper here. It says find your eating your health. Sorry, find your healthy eating plan at www.ubahome.co. I love that terminology, healthy eating plan with no predetermination of what that is. I also love how they say with respect to the different um, compartments in here that you can use them however you want. And as well that they're supporting well-balanced meals in the right portions across primary food groups. There's nothing in there to suggest that certain foods are good or certain foods are bad. They don't use the word diet. They don't talk about restriction and like limiting your portion sizes. It's really just saying, use this product as you see fit. Here's what we intended it for, but do what you want with it. I love that it's microwave safe. I love that it's dishwasher safe. I love that it's made of porcelain. And as well, I love that it's not like pre-stamped on here to say like, veggies and you know grains or whatever but again i just i really love the whole sort of concept behind the brand they included another little sheet in with the package that they sent me saying hola we wish you the best on your journey to a healthier lifestyle and hope your humble uba plate helps you enjoy well-balanced and nourishing meals i freaking love that entire sentence your journey to a healthier lifestyle. I mean, the name of my channel is Finding Health. It's not about losing weight or getting to a certain size or restricting or calorie counting or anything like that. It's just finding health. And that's gonna mean something different for everybody. And I love that they also say, enjoy well-balanced and nourishing meals. Again, food is fuel. So their, their focus is just on helping you establish a healthier lifestyle for yourself, whatever that means for you. And I love that. Because, I shouldn't say because, what I really mean is in contrast to, there is an app that's available and it's called Jago. And I don't even really want to say the name of it because I don't want to give them any sort of promotion because I was so thoroughly disappointed and frankly disgusted with them that I don't want to promote them. But I'm going to give you my reasons why and Uba is going to stand out in stark contrast to that. So. Jago keeps coming up on my Instagram feed because I do a lot of searches for running stuff and triathlon crap. So I get a lot of targeted ads for those kind of related items. So Jago is meant to be, or at least I thought it was meant to be like a run training app. So I hop over to their website and like one of the very first questions they ask is what is your weight goal? I don't know what that has to do with running but I just threw an arbitrary number in there. And then they send you an email with a link to get to your running program. But instead of like even calling it, your running plan is available. Your 10K training plan is available. It's your weight goal plan. So I had just thrown in the number 185 for the sake of putting a number in. And every email that I get from them, and there has been a lot ever since, is all about helping me get to 185 pounds. Nothing to do with running. That, what? When, I, when I'm training to run, I'm training to run. I'm not training to lose weight. I want to improve my performance, my endurance, my ability to run longer distances. Why are we tying this to some arbitrary number that you forced me to put in before you'd even tell me what your program, anyways, you get the point. I think Uba, even without that contrasting comparison to Jago, Uba stands head and shoulders above a lot of things which would be considered diet culture -y 
I love that they have taken this healthier approach to it. I think even just psychologically for me, just sitting and reading this, I'm like, it's just providing very subtle, almost subliminal, sort of positive reinforcement that this is about nutrition, about fueling my body, and about just a healthier lifestyle. And all of that resonates with me. I hope it resonates with you as well. And I just want to thank Uba for sending these items to me. There was no strings attached. I didn't have to include it in this video, but I think it deserves to be in this video. And I really enjoy the quality of these, like, these items as well. And I think that they would be very helpful, particularly if you've just had weight loss surgery. So, Moving on from there, there are a few other just sort of practical items. So one I'm going to talk about is this pill organizer here. I bought this off Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it down below. But if you have gone through weight loss uh, surgery or you have it coming up and you've done any sort of info sessions or research on it, you may be aware that there's going to be a lot of vitamins and supplements involved. Uh, forever, basically. And so it gets very overwhelming very quickly. And I don't have the brain capacity to remember every single day what goes where and when I take what and what goes with what and all that kind of crap. So enter the pill organizer. And what I really like about this is like, it just, it's so easy. So each one has the day written on it. And then there's a morning, noon, evening, and bed, which is very helpful because you take those supplements at various times throughout the day. So I can just sort of parcel them out. I take my vitamin D with my calcium so I can stick them in one little container together rather than having like all of these pill bottles just sitting around and then trying to remember what combination I need to take. So I do that and then they just, I mean, they're out of order right now and obviously they're empty. I need to refill them, but you refill it once a week. You have your week's worth of supplements sitting right there. It takes up a very compact amount of space. And I think this might have cost me, it's been three years, like $20 or less. Like I wouldn't have spent like 50 bucks on this. I know I wouldn't have, but it's just a very, very helpful tool to have. So again, if I can find it or something very similar to it, I will link that down below because it really did make life much simpler. So now I've got a few items that are from my absolute favorite protein brand, which I didn't really know that I would ever have a favorite protein brand, but here we are. This is the life that I'm living. Also, side note, their clothing, phenomenal. Pretty much all of my workout clothes now come from my protein. So I'm just gonna start really quickly talking about this guy here. It's just a protein shake bottle. I don't even know what you'd call it, a little spout. What I like about it, it's got like the little strainer thing in here, which just pops out. It holds 700, yes. Sorry about that. It holds 700 milliliters of liquid, and then you just put your powder in, your water, and then you can shake it all up and you're good to go. If you don't want to do it, like if you just want to use it for water or for whatever, you can do that as well. Because it has a little strainer thing, if you like to make like infused waters where you have like strawberries or lemon or whatever you want to put into it, you can do that and then it doesn't go up and into the spout because it gets caught by that little strainer thing. It's just a really helpful little tool to have. So mine came free with the purchase of a protein powder, but that was a couple years ago. I don't know if they still have that deal on or not, but I do have a discount code with my protein that I can share with you. And I will also link it below, but I just wanted to share this one because even if you don't buy their protein powder, having something like this just makes the whole protein shake very, very easy. And speaking of protein shakes, I, I'm not much of a sweet person. I really much prefer savory kind of flavors or sour. I'm just not into sweet. So I find having those like pre-mixed premier protein to be very cloying. Like I got over them very quickly. And of course, protein is a huge focus right after weight loss surgery. You need it to help your body repair. You need to get the protein into your body because you can't eat solid foods for a while, all of that kind of thing. So there is this like heavy reliance on protein supplements. And I, I struggled with it. I truly did because those sweet pre-mixed powders or pre-mixed shakes just, oh, they made me nauseous after a while. I just couldn't do it. And again, that's where my protein came in clutch for me. Once I finally discovered them, it just opened up a whole new world to me because they had, at that time, I think only two or three flavors, and now it's like expanded. We're gonna get to that in a moment. 
but they had protein lemonade at that time. So you still had 20 grams of protein per serving. There was no calories, no sugar. You mix it in water in this guy. It was actually the purchase of the protein lemonade that this came with. And it's just a nice break from all the sweetness. Very recently though, I was on their website. I did place an order a little while ago. Um, and I found that they had Mike and Ike flavored protein powder. So I picked it up. I got the Screaming, Screaming Sour Cherry flavor. This was just a little sample pack. It might have been like two or three dollars. I can't remember. Again, in here you're getting uh, 20 grams of protein, zero grams of total sugar. Calories are 80 per packet of this. This was phenomenal. This was so good. Like if you like sour cherry, this was so good. I basically made all of my family try it as well. And even the picky five-year-old who doesn't like anything except chicken nuggets, he liked it and asked for more. So I am gonna have to place an order for an actual tub of this because, oh my God, it's so good. Now, the other option for getting protein in that isn't a pre-made shake or a drink per se, bone broth. So in particular, I have one here from My Protein. Yeah, I told you, I have a favorite protein brand. It's so random, but I do. The bone broth is from Built. In giant letters, it says it, and yet I said it was from My Protein. It's not, it's from Built. I just apparently don't know how to read, so my apologies. So this one is the beef bone broth. It is gluten-free for one packet. So this bag here had 10 packets in it. Not anymore, but it did. So it just comes in like a little sachet like this. So for one of those, you're getting 50 calories. Uh, let's see here, one gram of sugar and 10 grams of protein. Uh, but I just find like, it's just a nice savory option. It's just nice to have. It's not something that I, I eat all the time. I will say when I'm cooking things like chicken and whatnot, anytime where it calls for like chicken stock, I use bone broth instead just to like punch up that protein even more, but I also just really like it like as a soup or just add in a few little noodles or whatever to it and it's just fantastic. So I just wanted to mention that just to give some different ideas on protein so that if you get like palate fatigue from like premier protein shakes and things of that sort, there's some other options out there for you. As well, I don't have any on hand. I do have some upstairs, but I forgot to bring them down. Uh, Built Bars. You can find them at Walmart, or at least in Canada I can find them in Walmart now, but you can also go to their website. Again, I will link it down below for you, but they are the only protein bars that I will eat. They just, they don't taste chalky, they don't taste artificial, they're fantastic, the quality of their ingredients is really good as well. Again, I will list that down below for you. So then, I have two more items that I want to talk about really quickly. Both of them are a powder and both of them are just to boost up whatever it is that you might be making. So on the one hand, we've got fiber powder. This one is from Life Brand, which I think is Canadian. You can find that at Shoppers Drug Mart, but it's just basically their generic brand. You can probably find it in any other number of uh, brands. And it's just a non-thickening, clear mixing powder in here for one teaspoon. You're getting five calories and three grams of fiber. It doesn't list any sugar or anything of that sort. So there you go with that and then boost just protein. So again, this is an unflavored whey protein. So in here, for three scoops of this, there are 80 calories, uh, one gram of carbs, zero sugar, and 18 grams of protein. So what I really like with these, because they are non-flavored and because they really don't change the texture of anything, I can add them to anything. If I'm making a smoothie, I can throw in a scoop of this and a scoop of this. I know a serving size says three. I don't always like feel like I need three scoops of it, depending on what I'm already putting in to the smoothie or into whatever it is that I'm adding this to. But things like fiber, I've been lucky enough that I don't deal with like constipation. A lot of people do after this kind of weight loss surgery. So input, like increasing your fiber, good idea nonetheless. But I like to just add this in, like if I'm baking, I'll throw a few scoops into it. If I'm making like pasta sauces or whatever, I'll just throw a couple scoops of each one in. And it's really just to like add the nutritional value. It's really not adding a ton of calories. There's no fat in either of these. So it's really just about maximizing those like micronutrients or I guess macronutrients if we're talking protein. But I just wanted to share these with you because the whole like protein thing can get very overwhelming because it is just 
such a huge thing right after surgery. Like everybody and their mother is talking to you about protein and getting in as many grams as you possibly can, basically. And a lot of people struggle with it because you're stuck doing shakes, which frankly, they get really effing boring, really effing quick. So having some variety, having some various options here, I guess I should shake the actual protein one. You can mix this into scrambled eggs. You can mix this into cottage cheese. You're not going to taste it. It's not going to change the texture of it, but it just increases the protein for you. So I just wanted to give those to you. I would love to hear down below if you have any other suggestions or recommendations like Let's treat this like a little hive mind. We can all help each other. What are some of your favorite high protein meals or food ideas, supplements like I've shown, any of that kind of thing, list it down below. But with all of that said, I am going to wrap the video up here. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.